Got another question for the organic mechanisms playlist. So we're up to number 18 now. As always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try it first. Okay, so make a start. So a suitable halogen carrier would be something like aluminium chloride or iron three chloride. I've gone for aluminium chloride for this mechanism. The type of mechanism is electrophilic substitution. So the first part of the mechanism, we take the halogen carrier, react it with chlorine, and that's gonna generate the electrophile Cl+, which is gonna be the electron pair acceptor in the mechanism we also generate an AlCl4- ion. Obviously, if you'd gone for FeCl3, that would have gone there, and you would have made FeCl4- there. Next part of the mechanism, so we take compound C and react it with the electrophile. So a pair of electrons from the delocalized ring of pi electrons comes out and bonds to the Cl plus ion. That generates the intermediate. So you can see I've gone for substitution at this position. That's exactly the same as putting there or there. Because I've gone for this position, I'm showing the hydrogen that's already on that carbon atom. And my partial ring of pi electrons is now sort of open where the substitution is taking place. And it's going to cover five of the carbons of the ring. Obviously, don't forget your positive charge. Next thing that happens is a pair of electrons from this CH bond goes back into the ring and it's going to reform the delocalized ring of pi electrons and this H is going to come off the ring as an H plus ion. So that gives us those two products there and then all we've got to do now is get the catalyst back. So we take the AlCl4- ion that was made in step one, react it with that H plus ion that we've just generated that makes the catalyst back and it also makes an HCl molecule and that's it. Hope you liked the video and if you haven't already subscribed, why don't you think about subscribing to the channel?